Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to do the shake effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, also, another term is like maybe the, the hit effect. It's gonna basically be shaking the footage under our control. So before, just someone punching, right like so. Nothing too interesting. Now, when we add in our footage, you'll notice that there is this sort of, this punch, this kick to it when he punches, and it makes everything sort of tie together. It gives it more force, more action. And that's what we're gonna be doing today. This is a very flexible effect to be used for really anything. If you wanna use it to like bump to a beat or sort of do something in a car accident or any other sort of hits or where you just wanna move it to a element, a plot element, then this is the perfect effect for you. So first things first, all we gotta do is create ourselves a new sequence. I'm just gonna go ahead and close out the sequence that I have, take my footage right here and just drag it in, and it'll create itself a new sequence uh, with all of these settings. I got this footage from Envato Elements, which is a great place if you wanna have basically unlimited amounts of stock footage, it's a monthly fee, and you can download as much as you want. It even creates like the licensing and stuff for you, which I am a big fan of. Uh, if you are interested in that, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. It's a great deal for what you get, and I love using it. We are then going to go into our footage here, and you'll notice that it starts off in slow motion. We don't want it in slow motion, so I'm gonna go ahead and right click, go speed duration, and just double the speed, and it pretty much looks like fast motion now. Now what we need to do is we gotta duplicate the footage, so click on it, hold the Alt key and drag up, and you'll see that we now just have an exact replica. And what we wanna do is we wanna cut right before the hits, so right about here, move forward until after the hits are done, right about there, and then throw away the back footage. You can click the delete key or you can right click and then go up to clear to remove that. We then have the footage and we are ready to begin. First things first, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the beginning of the footage. We're gonna look for an effect called transform. Now, we could just use the position up here in motion. However, we lose the ability to add motion blur if we do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag on the transform and we're gonna use these motion effects instead of these motion effects. This will again allow us to add a little motion blur, make it all look a little bit better. We're gonna click on our footage. We're then going to go into position, click the little keyframe right here. We're then going to move forward and try to find the point where we want it to start, maybe right about here. Go one frame, two frames forward, give it a little bit of a kick to the right. We don't wanna to do too extreme. The reason we're copying is because now the bottom layer is sort of helping us. There's not a black bar right here. But if we go too far, it becomes really noticeable. So we just wanna go a few frames up and down, maybe like so. If you wanna do something a little bit more intense, what you can do is you can actually zoom it in. So if we, for example, zoomed it into 110, we now have the ability to move it a lot farther and it's still within our footage. You just have to zoom it in a bit. So it's your choice on how you wanna do it. Don't wanna zoom in past about 115, anything past that and you start losing a lot of resolution. So you have two options there, either zoom it or just kinda of keep it normal and make the movements very, very tiny. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make the tiny movements here. So I'm gonna move just a little bit over, we move just a little bit up, and now you'll see that when we hit, it moves just a bit. So that when after our movement, we can click on the footage and then jump to our last keyframe here. We're gonna move maybe one, two, and then we wanna reset it. So we're, we just move it out for just a second and then have it come back. And you can see we have just a little bit of a hit right there. Uh, maybe we wanna add just a little bit more flair to that. So all we have to do is just find the point where it hits where we moved it and maybe make it instead of 974, like 990 or 990, yeah, and then maybe just a tad bit more on the up here. And then now let's take a look. Yeah, it looks a little bit stronger now. And so now we're gonna do the exact same thing for the next one. So create a keyframe right before the hit, maybe right, yeah, we'll do here because that actually hasn't moved. Uh, we'll have to choose which frame we're gonna do it. Maybe I'll put it right here. Gonna add the keyframe, move forward one or two frames, really accent that hit a bit, have it come out, have it come up a bit. The reason I'm going this direction is because that's kind of the way the force of the punch is going, so I'm trying to move with the force of the punch. Move forward one or two frames, reset it, and then now we have nice one, two right there. And you can see that there's a nice sort of a strong movement with that last hit. Now we gotta clean this up a little bit. First things first, let's add in that motion blur gonna go uncheck, uncheck the use composition shutter angle, go to the shutter angle, bring it all the way up like so. Uh, the more you bring it up, the more motion blur. Since we're doing small motion, I'm gonna bring it up as high as possible to try to add as much motion blur as I can. You see that it's not much, 
but it does move just a little bit. It blurs everything in the direction, and that just kind of cleans up the action just a little bit. And then we're gonna go into our effects and we're gonna look for something called Cross Dissolve. Cross Dissolve is going to blend us in with the background a little bit better. So click on this and drag it down. We can zoom in to sort of, all we want is a couple frames here. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna blend us in with the bottom here. So it looks a little bit less noticeable whenever we go through it. Now we're gonna hit play. You can see that we're having a pretty good effect rate here. So boom, boom. And if you notice it, you watch it one time, you won't notice it, but if you watch it over and over, you're starting to see that maybe this is moving too far off the background with the movement. And so maybe we wanna try change it up a bit and maybe add just a tiny bit of zoom to it, like 105, if we're gonna do it like that. And now if you do that, you gotta realize that um, if you zoom the top layer in, the cross dissolves might need to be dropped. Otherwise, you're gonna get that weird sort of zoom in, zoom out. So we have the punch right there. Of course, we can always touch it up now that we have a little zoom on it. Let's kind of bring it out even more a little bit. Bring it up some, and you can see it, it blurs even more. And now we kind of have a really strong hit happening here. And that second one, I say, could be even more powerful as well. So bring it over, really make that move. Maybe make that one go down. And there we go, now we got like a really strong sort of punch. It makes this look incredibly strong. And yeah, that's really how you do the shake effect. It's not that hard of an effect to pull off. You just sort of add a little bit of motion blur, use the transform tab. If you need to cross dissolve, if you need to zoom it in, and you can do this anywhere in your footage and have a really, really uh, solid and reliable and flexible way of adding the shake effect. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button. I make a video every other day, or at least I try to. Uh, and until next time, guys, see ya.